Today I'm going to show you how to create this product reveal video of a car in Premiere Pro from a picture. We shot this in a dark alley behind my house. Let's get started. Set your camera on a tripod. Use a remote trigger if you can, because you'll be busy light painting with your LED stick. In this case, I set mine at 5600 Kelvin to light the bits and pieces of the car where I wanted to create nice highlights and gradients. You will need to experiment with the shutter speed. I use an iOS of 100 and an aperture of f4.0. This technique can be used on any product shot in black. We just used a car in this case because it was a project we were working on at that time. As you can see, the first few images were shot at a two second shutter interval, followed by one second, and finally we settled on quarter of a second. Here are my selects, 41 images. I made sure to light up all the metallic parts for highlights and some non-metallic parts for the shapes and gradients. Next, I opened the first image in Camera Raw. As you can see, I've applied some basic correction to my selects already. Open in Photoshop. I do not need a smart object for this project, so I'll rasterize this layer. From this layer, I need only the fog lights and the brake lights. We will mask those out, but first we need a black background. Command or Control click on a new layer icon to create a new layer below. Then select Adjustment Layer Solid Color, choose black. This will convert the new layer into an adjustment layer. Time to do some masking. There are several ways you can do this, but I'll show you how I personally do this, where I have maximum control. I use a Wacom tablet and a pen to make it easier. On the lights layer, create a new layer mask and with a black brush, 100% opacity and flow, mask out the light. Press shift and click to mask in straight lines. This speeds up things. This is what the mask looks like now. I know it's the other way around, so just hit Command or Control I to invert the mask. Now you should only see the fog light. Hit Command or Control I again and mask out the rear brake light. Hit Command Control I again and the first layer is done. Back to bridge. Select the next few images where the LED doesn't overlap with the car and make sure it doesn't cross over any parts you want to mask out. In the menu, select Tools, Photoshop, Load Files into Photoshop Layers. This will open a new document with all the selected layers in the same document. With the Move tool selected, select all these layers and drag them into our main document. Do not deselect the layers yet. Change the blending mode of the layers to lighten. This will change the blending mode of all the layers at the same time to lighten. Pretty cool, right? Now right click on one of them and select Merge Layers. Again, you will need to change the blending mode to lighten because once you merge them, this option resets. Now repeat the same steps and create a layer mask, use a black brush, use the shift key and click away. I'll demonstrate how to do this. Hit Command or Control I to check your work and tweak as needed. Hit Command or Control I again to continue masking. For the gradients, I use a pen tool and create a path. You save the path so you can go back to it later just in case. Make a selection, feather it by 10 pixel or so and mask away. In this case, it's better to paint with a white brush on a black mask with lower opacity to nail the gradient that you need. Now, continue with the next set of images in a similar way till you have the complete image as you need. When not sure, duplicate an image and try different parts and see which part looks better and how it looks. So here's the complete image. I'll quickly turn on all the layers one by one so you can take a look. Remember, this method is to have complete control over every single line of the car and what it looks like. You don't need to go into so much detail and spend this time masking out everything. The magic of this reveal video happens in Premiere Pro and it can be done with almost any image that has been shot on black. The last thing to do now in Photoshop is to save this as a JPEG and then import it into Adobe Premiere Project. My sequence is in 4K, so I'll drag this image onto the timeline on V2. I'll make a black video and then drag that onto V1. Resize the image if needed. Next, click the circular mask under the opacity in the effects control panel and set its size and feather to quite a bit. Drag the mask all the way to the left of the image and create a mask path keyframe by clicking the clock icon. Now move the playhead near the end of the clip and drag the mask all the way to the right. This will create a second keyframe. Drag this keyframe to the end of your clip. Move the playhead to the beginning and hit spacebar to play your video. However, to take it to the next level, let's add some highlights. Duplicate the image layer to V3 Delete the mask from this layer only. Search for Lumetri Color in the Effects panel and drag drag on your duplicated layer. Adjust the curves to increase the whites and highlights. Next, click on the pen icon under Opacity in the Effects Control panel and draw out a huge triangle. Feather it similar to the previous mask. 
repeat the steps of creating the keyframes under the mask path, hit the spacebar and take a look. You want the triangular mask always to remain in the center of the circular mask as the reveal happens. If not, adjust the position of the triangular mask's beginning or its end to nail the highlight to be either in the center or slightly ahead. Add some sound effects, some whooshes or risers and enjoy a nice lovely little reveal video. Well, that's it. Hope you like this video. Hit that like button and please subscribe. I'll see you soon.